Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more missing women, children, and men cases. We'll be talking about the Grim Sleeper killings. And one of his victims on is named Barbara Ware, W-A-R-E, 23, in 1987. This is how she looks. Now, on Tubi TV, they have a movie about him. I watched a little bit of it, and the first part when it came on, it was about her. Okay, um, she said no, it did not happen to her. She did not come back home to her son. Okay, she was already, he killed her in the car, like drove off with her, okay? So the movie is not showing everything. It was a reenactment as well, okay? So let's begin. Barbara Ware, a 23-year-old black woman, was found dead January the 10th, 1987, in the 1300 block of East 50 Street, 56th Street, in the Central Alameda area, authorities said. A man who said he saw Ware's body being dumped called 911 to report what he had seen. So her body could still be around over here in my area. According to... According a transcript of the call, the man who said he wished to remain anonymous because he knew too many people said someone threw her out. I'm hearing James, okay? The only thing that's hanging out of this, like he threw a gas tank on top of her and uh and uh only thing you can see out is her feet. Yes, yeah, like I was trying to tell y'all, like literally like he had all of them hanging out of his car. Like a fresh truck, okay? Even though fresh don't be out in fresh truck, but they were probably they were really trying to speak, okay? They fresh. They what he trying to say, okay? He also reported a full a full license plate number for the van the body had been dumped from. Like literally, they would like he called would literally do that. You know how a back of a fresh truck do that? Like literally, what how his car would do? Sometimes we would find them on the streets too. By the way. Um, the license place number is one capitalized PZP seven four six. The van described by the caller was located by police in a church parking lot about four and a half miles away from where was where's body was found. In February two thousand and nine, LAPD officials released a tape of the nine one one call and photos of the van in hopes of generating new leads in. What by then they knew was a serial killer case involving 11 homicides over three decades. On July the 7th, 2010, Los Angeles police arrested Lonnie David Franklin Jr., a 57-year-old black man, at his home in South Los Angeles. After police said they made DNA matches linking him to the killings of living people over the last three decades, including where prosecutors charged Franklin with 10 counts of murder, noting that he's eligible for the death penalty. Franklin is a former city trash collector who at one time worked as a vehicle mechanic at an LAPD station, sources said. Time staff reports. Photo, van matching license plates described by 911 caller. Credit is from LAPD. Map shows location of home of Lenny David, David Franklin Jr. and the locations of where the grim sleeper victims were found. Okay. Here's the map. And let's see if we click for more details. Okay. That is it. It's forbidden. 4-3. So 7-G. Okay. So you like to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame and the money. I do it for this what I love to do. And to the real families of this victim, corporate America, we say shout up. Thank you and peace, family. This is how she looks.